Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to a jailbreak tutorial. Yes, I know that this is a bit out of date, but due to complications with my YouTube channel, uh, I had to wait until now. And this is something that I did want to cover, um, so I'm not going to miss out on it. That's why I'm doing it now. And it still works for all current iOS 7 firmwares. It'd be 7.1 to 7.1.2. Uh, my device is on 7.1.2 right now. So we're going to go ahead and go through the Pangu jailbreak process. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your device is plugged into your computer via USB. Um, now this is going to be pretty much the same process for Mac and Windows. So if you are on Windows, you can still follow the same process. Uh, so now on our computer, the next step, what you're going to want to do is go to uh, pangu.io. I'll leave the link down in the description. Go ahead and click on either Mac or Windows, depending on what, uh, what version you're on. And go ahead and download the Pangu program. And I have placed it on my desktop, as you guys can see right there. So we're just going to go ahead and double click on it, open it up. And here it is. As you can see, uh, it automatically is reading my device and what firmware I'm on. As you can see, I am on 7.1.2. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and just click on jailbreak. It's as simple as that. As you can see now, there's a couple more uh, steps you got to do. What we're going to do is go into the settings application. We're going to scroll down to general. And then we're going to scroll down to... Uh, date and time and then we're gonna go ahead and set automatically to turn that toggle off and then we're gonna pick the date and we have to go back to uh, June 2nd so there you go and then go ahead and click on general again and as you can see the process is beginning on Pingu on the computer here and we'll just let it do its thing. We can go ahead and click on the home button on our device and swipe over to your open page and as you can see there is the uh, the Pangu little icon there for the jailbreak and it will indicate when you're supposed to push that icon. So there we go. Now we can go ahead and tap on that icon and then just go ahead and click on continue. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up because it, it is going to take a couple of minutes so I'm just going to speed it up for you guys. So now Cydia has finished preparing its file systems. We can go ahead and unlock our device here and we can swipe over until we see the Cydia icon. Go ahead and open it up again. And as you guys can see, Cydia is up and running and we are ready to download tweaks and themes, uh, which is the best part about being jailbroken. Uh, if you guys want to see more jailbreak tutorials like this, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, the links are down in the description. Also, the link for the Pangu jailbreak will be down there as well. Like I said, this is going to be the same process between a Mac and Windows. Uh, if this tutorial helped you guys out at all, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out tremendously. Also, if you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.